Speedrunning has quickly become one of gaming's greatest pastimes. Gamers have gone through a lot in order to beat a game in the quickest time possible. The entire community works towards breaking and making new records in a variety of games while also making it fun for the audience. Of course, not all speedruns are perfect, and there have been many documented cases of speedrunners coming so close but failing in the end. That is what we'll be looking at today. Before we begin, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and stay up to date with the gamer. Now, without further ado, here are 10 videos game speedruns that came so close but failed. Joden Stone Perhaps the most famous speedrun ever is the 18 minutes and 10 second Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time run. It was completed by Cosmo Wright. Of course, to get this amazing time required some insane exploits, data mining, and timing. To make a long story short, a player had to clip out of one of the first dungeons in order to teleport to the final dungeon thanks to how the data was stored in the game. Many speedrunners have tried to at least tie this time and have either barely failed or outright failed to complete it. This is because in order to complete the game this way, it requires a lot of R RNG and random chance for the right moment to align, and at any moment the game could crash or the player could die. Joden Stone was attempting the speedrun after months and months of grinding and preparing. Things were going well for him, and he looked like he was going to at least tie for the top spot. He had just gotten over one of the hardest tricks in order to get to the final boss, and this is where things went south. He was super close to defeating Ganon, but he got hit and died right before the fight ended. Talk about cutting it close. Chizo 5 have you ever tried at something so many times that you feel you're never gonna achieve it even though you know in your heart that you can do it? Well, you feel just like Chizo 5. He's a Super Mario 64 speedrunner who's been on a quest to get all 120 stars in under 1 hour and 39 minutes. Chizo 5 has come so close on many occasions in his speedruns, just barely going over his goal time. If he ever did get under 1 hour and 39 minutes, it would be a world record. There have been many close calls when it comes to his Super Mario 64 speedruns, but there's one incident that stood out among the rest. On one attempt, when Cheese was going to face Bowser in the Dark World, someone in the voice chat began to spam donuts while the fight was going on. This may have led to him choking and missing some key throws that would have landed him the 139. Even if it didn't interfere with his record, it was a pretty scummy move. Of course, if you know Twitch, you know that merely spamming the text to voice donate feature is harmless compared to some of the other things Twitch chat has done. X Speedrunning is a game of skill, dedication, and patience. However, no matter how many times you practice and hone your skills, some aspects are simply out of your control. During a run of Gex 64, Speedrunner XDE was on the final boss. To beat this boss, you have to press a big green button three times in order to make a TV fall on him. Gex was a weird franchise to say the least. However, the button spawns in random places, so it could spawn somewhere that's out of your reach. This happened during X's speedrun. He was on his way to breaking a record for Gex 64 with a time of 52 minutes. During the fight, he missed his opportunity to hit the button and failed in his speed run. The object of the fight is to make the boss hit the green button, but for some reason the boss didn't hit the green button when he slammed down, making him lose time. This created a downward spiral and he ended up losing more opportunities to make up for lost time. It just goes to show that no matter what your skill level is, sometimes it just comes down to pure luck and RNG. Kizaron. While we here at The Gamer are not speedrunners, even we know that if you plan on speedrunning the Pokemon games, you're guaranteed to have some unfair RNG moments. A large part of the game relies on luck and random encounters in order to get the Pokemon you want. Despite all that, people still try and speedrun it. Kaiseron was a streamer attempting to speedrun Pokemon Red. During this run, he needed to get through Viridian Forest without a single encounter. Now this may seem like a tall order seeing as there are large patches of grass you need to walk over, but he was determined to roll the dice. Of course, one chance encounter during this run was not going to break the bank, but the poor speedrunner didn't get just one, but four encounters almost one after another. He even has the misfortune to get an encounter before he's supposed to get into a trainer fight, losing him more time. To add insult to injury, after his trainer fight in the last patch of grass, he gets one more encounter. The game of Pokemon has always had a large element of RNG, and to try to play around that to complete the game seems counterintuitive to the whole idea of speedrunning, but many speedrunners do anyway. Fuzziness 
here we have another Legend of Zelda speedrun, only this time it's a Wind Waker any percent run. In this run, streamer Fuzziness was ahead of the world record by a full minute, and he was on his way to completing the game since he was in the final boss fight with Ganon. Things were going smoothly until he discovered a soft lock within the game. After the first phase of the Zelda fight, there will be a small cutscene where Zelda is slapped by Ganon. It's in the second part where Zelda can fire the light arrows that can hurt Ganon. Through some sort of glitch, Fuzziness didn't trigger this cutscene, and Zelda couldn't be interacted with. He couldn't talk to her or target her and just walked right through her. Since she couldn't be interacted with, the cutscene never happened and Funniness was now trapped with Ganon and had no choice but to die and start over, losing all his time and failing to get the world record. Wind Waker is filled with similar glitches and soft locks like this, making it one of the more difficult games to fully speedrun, unlike Ocarina of Time. Serif. This might be the most crushing close call time-wise. Final Fantasy games are very long, some even eclipsing the 50-hour mark. One streamer by the name of Serith was attempting a Nemesis compete run for Final Fantasy X. You're probably asking, what's a Nemesis speedrun? Well, Nemesis is the strongest super boss in the American version of the game. To unlock him, you have to beat every enemy in the game 10 times. With over 100 enemies in the game and having all the encounters be totally random, it can be frustrating as well as tedious. Serith was in the final area of the game called the Nucleus. In this section, there are no random encounters, and all the enemies in the section attack first unless your party has two abilities. For some reason, one of the abilities doesn't work for a certain creature, and he's able to get off his bad breath attack which blinds, confuses, and berserks your party. Because of this, the speedrunner's party killed themselves, and the speedrun failed after nearly 23 hours of gameplay. Despite all of this, Serith wasn't even salty about having his world record ruined by what is essentially RNG. What can you really do in a situation like that? Cyglemic. Some games for speedrunners are a lot more optimized than others. Super Mario 64 speedruns are calculated down to the frame, so the only thing between a gamer and the world record is nerves and luck. We talked about one streamer who's dedicated to trying to achieve the world record, but this is an older one from 2012. Cyglemic was a streamer who would play Super Mario 64 for 12 hours a day in an attempt to get the world record down. During a run, he was in the Rainbow Cruise level, and was ahead of the record by about a minute. All he needed to do was touch the star and get past this level, but for whatever reason, he jumped the wrong way which caused him to miss the star and die. A lot of streamers and Super Mario 64 players will choke at the final Bowser fight or screw up in the late game, but this instance is one of the most infamous speedrunner chokes in the history of speedruns. A minute lead on the world record is an eternity in the realm of speedrunning, and he lost it all in one fell swoop. Seriously, what can top this moment? Connor 75 We've seen a lot of close calls on this list that have been lost because of RNG or a glitch in the game, but when you fail to beat a world record because of a single mistake, it can be devastating. Donkey Kong 64 is a collection game for the N64 and it's possible to get 101% completion. You can do this by collecting every single thing in the game and defeating the boss. Connor 75 was on his way to completing the game in just under 6 hours. Not only was he well on his way to getting a personal best, but it was also possible for him to get the world record for DK. 64. It was during the final battle with King K. Rule over 5 hours into the stream where everything went wrong. For the boss, you have to use all the Kongs to defeat King K. Rule, and Connor was down to Chunky Kong. He needed to deliver a strong punch to end the battle, but instead he hit Z and A to do a backflip instead of Z plus B to do the punch move. This added 30 seconds to his time. While he may not have gotten the world record, Connor did get a personal best with the game, so it's not all that bad. Lobos Jr. One of the most active speedrunning communities revolves around the Dark Souls franchise. There are many videos and streams of people trying to complete the games, whether they're no-hit runs which are completely self-explanatory or just a good old-fashioned any percent run. The Dark Souls franchise gets a lot of attention from speedrunners. One streamer by the name of Lobos Jr. was attempting a world record speedrun in Dark Souls 1. He was on his way to the final boss when he ran into an infamous glitch with the game's second to last boss Priscilla. If you manage to take her out in one hit and defeat her, she'll let out a moan and begin her dying dialogue. Sometimes this will glitch out and her dialogue will repeat indefinitely. Since you teleported to her stage, there's no way to leave, and the level will not progress until she finishes her dialogue. This essentially locks you out of the game and Lobos Jr. was robbed of his world record run of Dark Souls 1. However, sometime later, he returned back to the game and managed to get past this part to earn the world record for Dark Souls 1. Never give up, kids. Andrew G. 
Failing in the privacy of your own home is one thing. Failing in front of an audience is another. And failing in front of an audience including one of your idols can be crushing. Andrew G is one of the biggest Nintendo streamers on Twitch, raking in over 12,000 followers. He's famous for playing the original Super Mario Bros. He's attempted many speedruns and special events and even attempted to beat the game blindfolded. There was a special Nintendo event where Andrew G was present to play some Super Mario World. And who else but Shigeru Miyamoto, the granddaddy of Mario, was there to watch him play. Now Andrew G's skills are undisputed. He's a great player and has shown his skill hundreds of times. But when the inventor of the game you've played obsessively is right next to you, things can get a little tense. Andrew G attempted to play the game in order to show off his skills, but he found himself making simple mistakes and as a result he couldn't even finish the game. There were no hard feelings however and Andrew G continues to stream Mario games to this day. Maybe next time he'll swallow his nerves and prove his skill to Miyamoto. And those were some of the greatest speedruns that came so close to succeeding but ultimately failed. Do you have a speedrun fail that you remember but didn't see on this list? Let us know in the comment section below. Remember to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with all the latest videos from the gamer. Also while you're here, have a look at our playlist. You might find your next favorite video.